welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. And that somewhere is today. I'm at the Disney exhibit at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I actually been here on my sixth grade field trip, but they didn't have any Mickey stuff. And I am a really huge Mickey fan. I cannot wait to explore the exhibit. We're gonna head in and take care of the Disney 100 business. Like for example, the exhibit, the gift shop. I cannot really wait. It's gonna be a great time and away we go. Here is the price for the tickets if you're interested. Like for example, $45 for an adult and $41 for a child. And these are the prices for the Disney 100 tickets exhibit. the surface idea but everything about it. and when we go into that new project we believe in it all the way we have confidence in our ability to do it right and we work hard to do the best possible job there's really no secret about our approach we keep moving forward opening up new doors doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths we're always exploring and experimenting Everybody ready? And on with the show! We're in this first room where Walt Disney began his career. Let's look the stuff in here. Not just the surface idea, but everything about it. And let me go into that new project. We do it We have confidence in our ability to do it right. And th this is Walt's career when he first made in the Walt Disney Company. And let's go over to the invention of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Wow, check this out. There's the earliest known drawings of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. That's interesting. This looks interesting. I'm, I wish I could do that, those kind of drawings. I wish I could be a creator like Walt Disney does. I wish I could cre create my own company. It's interesting. I'm gonna show you the 100 year timeline. There's the second wall from the 50s to, to the 90s. And hey look, check it out. I know this already. Walt Disney World, Walt Disney World Resort opens October 1st in 1971 in Orlando, Florida. I then know it from watching the TV show of Walt Disney World Grand Opening starting with Julie Andrews. Here is the last walls in the 2000s and the 2020s. Here is the second room where the stories come from. And let's go check out this room where the exhibits, where they, what they, they have in this room. Here is when Winnie the Pooh all first started. This is Winnie the Pooh. And that, and that exists in nine, 1966 where Winnie the Pooh got existed. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was created in 1991. Here is Pinocchio. 
Pinocchio was created in 1940. You see here? That's when he, before he turned into Pinocchio. Well, when he lies, there's no stretch. That's way before he has his outfit and his hat. These are the books from the Sleeping Beauty movies? Let's check them out. Wow. Even when I turned the pages, they switched on the screen. See here? Wow. See here? It's pretty neat. This is the glass slipper from the Cinderella movies. Here's here is the illusion of life room. And now we're gonna go check out the spirit of adventure and discovery room. Let's go to the Jungle Cruise exhibit. I can't wait to go on this ride when we go back to Magic Kingdom. To the Star Wars section. See here? There is the, the bird that they have in the movie. It's called Pork Puppet, and there's BB-8. Wow! BB-8's always my favorite character from Star Wars. And, and there's the Jedi text. Ooh! There's the lightsaber that you use in the Star Wars movies. And look! There's the Stormtrooper. Let's go check out the Marvel section. Check this out. Black Panther costume. Wow. And these are the different masks from the different Marvel movies. Like, for example, I, example, I see Star-Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And there is the Captain America shield, where Captain America used it in the different wa wars and fights in different Marvel movies. Wow. There is the world around us wall. And the Tree of Life came out in nineteen ninety four. And there's the Navi River. Navi River ride came out in 2017. And there's the Pandora, the World of Avatar. That came out in 2017 at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. See, there's the Navi River and there's the Pandora area. And we, sometimes we walk through the area to go on Flight of Passage several times because that is one of my favorite rides at Walt Disney World. There it is, the art of the storyboarding exhibit. This is the Walt Disney World room. And I'm going to show you the ride vehicles and the castle. There is the ride vehicle from the Matterhorn attraction in Disneyland. And there is the attraction from Peter Pan's flight. This is the Cinderella Castle in Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom, where dreams come true. Like most rides, the Disney exhibit is a one-way ticket to the gift shop.
I'm gonna show you this merchandise. Like the classic Mickey Mouse shirt. I like this shirt. And this shirt is $26 for this shirt. And I also like this shirt. This shirt's really nice. And that costs, um, it doesn't have, has a price on this shirt. They have Disney ears as well. Let's go see how much the Disney ears cost. And the Disney ears cost $35 for the Disney 100 ears. Also, they have Disney Fungal Pops, and the Fungal Pops are $20 for the Fungal Pops. Like, for example, this Fungal Pop, it's $20 for this Fungal Pops. If you're into Fungal Pops, and let's go check out over at the Star Wars section. These Marvel books, wow. This book is really nice. Wow. This book costs $40 for the Marvel book, and Star Wars book costs $40 as well. Ooh, I like this coloring book. How much this cost? This coloring book costs. This coloring book. Um, uh, let's see. It has no price on it. They have keychains here as well, and that the keychains are $12 for this keychain. Wow, this keychain is really nice. These coffee mugs cost $17.50 for the coffee mugs. If you like any of these coffee mugs, they are $17.50. And I also like this original Mickey Mouse. Wow, this is very nice. And the and it's fifty it's fifty dollars. Wow. That is very expensive. If I and if I want to decide to get this, this little beauty is coming home with me. And I really like this as well. And the price is twenty and wow, it looks nice. And the price is $20 for these. And I also, and I also like this. Oh, right here. Oh. Oh. A retro, retro magnet. And that costs $8. $8 for that magnet. And I also love this keychain. That is nice. This keychain is nice. And this keychain costs $8.40. I also like this mug. Wow, it's really nice. And the price is for it is $20 for this mug. If you want any coffee mugs. That's cute. And I and plus I like this mug as well. This mug is really nice. And this mug costs $22 for this mug. Wow. Oh my god. This mug has all different Veer's timeline of Mickey Mouse. Wow. And this mug is $20. And this, wow, this mug say the Disney 100 exhibit. And that costs $25 for the Disney 100 exhibit coffee mug. And look at this shirt. Wow. And this shirt costs $26. I really love this shirt. And I also like this shirt. Um, 
the shirt is really nice, but wow. But this shirt doesn't have a price on it. No price. Disney Tees, if you want a t-shirt, is $21. And if you want a logo crew of the Disney 100 exhibit, that is $50. And they also have logo hat, like Mickey Mouse hat. That is $35 for this hat. And this Minnie Mouse hat is $20. $30 for this hat. Wow. This Mickey Mouse is so fancy. And that costs... It doesn't have a price on it. No price on it. Oh, I know. The sparkly Mickey and Minnie is... $25. Wow, $25 for these. And pop it. I love this pop it. That is $20 for this pop it. And the peds are, this, this is $50 for the peds if you like any peds. This gift shop is really nice. Well, we didn't. I also got my handmade Mickey Mouse classic plush. That should hold me over until we get to Disney in five weeks. Since we're in the area, we de decided to come to Old City. There's a lot of history and the Independence Hall is behind me. And there is the Liberty Bell in my dad's work. And look, there's the Wawa that my dad gets his coffee in the morning and that our founding fathers went to. Here is the boars. Let's ask Adam up why we're here. We're here for a chicken sandwich. There's a place called Freebird, and they have a better chicken sandwich than the chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Mm-mm-mm. Let's head in. There is a Freebird chicken sandwich that's better than Chick-fil-A. I said it. It has a better bun quality, better secret sauce, and a better flavor. Let's take care of this chicken business. Mm-mm-mm. Well, we did it all. We went to the Disney 100 exhibit at the Franklin Institute and this little beauty came home with me. It's a Mickey Mouse handmade classic plush toy and we went to Old City and had a free bird chicken sandwich. If you're in Old City, you should try, out, try it out because it's a little bit better than Chick-fil-A. And now we're back in Jersey. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and you can subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we will see you real soon.